Okay, guys. So let's continue with number 51. Still about Jose Rizal's life. After the execution, Rizal corpse was buried with the greatest secrecy at the Paco Cemetery, who was the one who patiently searched all the cemeteries in Manila to find his body in vain. So guys, ang clue po natin dito una ha, tingnan muna ang word na Paco Cemetery. So pag may question saan inilibing si Jose Rizal after the execution, answer is Paco Cemetery. Now, nung inilibing si Jose Rizal sa Paco Cemetery, walang ni isa sa kanila ang alam kung saan nila ng mga Espanyol ang bangkay ni Jose Rizal. So may isang tao na very patient siya sa paghahanap sa bangkay ni Jose Rizal kasi gusto niya makita talaga si Rizal at mabigyan siya at least malang ng proper na burial. Now sino yung uh, patiently na naghanap sa lahat ng cemeteries sa Manila na malapit lang sa execution place ni Jose Rizal para makita ang kanyang body. So, ang answer natin is hindi si Maximo Viola, hindi rin ang kanyang kapatid na si Pasyano, at lalong-lalong hindi pwede si Doña Chudor Alonso kasi matanda na siya. So, the correct answer is his sister Narcisa. Si Narcisa actually ang closest niya sa mga babae. Next, uh, 52. On Rizal's exile in the Pitan, he was guarded by a Spanish military commandant. Ang pangalan po niya is we have Captain Ricardo Canicero. How did this military commandant treat the exile? So guys, remember, sino yung nagbantay kay Jose Rizal sa the Pitan? We have Captain Ricardo Canicero. Again, ano yung pangalan? Captain Ricardo Canicero. Now, sino nga yung governor general na nagpatapon kay Rizal sa the Pitan? Answer is we have Dapitan D, si Governor General Despohol. Now, how did uh, Ricardo Carnicero treat or treated Jose Rizal? Okay. He would allow Rizal to talk to his visitors only upon request. No, hindi po yan siya correct kasi mabait ito si... Uh, Captain Ricardo Canicero. Next, he supported the results activities and reported it to the Governor General and asked for funding. Answer is no. So, ang correct answer lang po natin dito is we have Charlie. He gave Jose Rizal the freedom to go anywhere requiring him only to report once a week to his office. Again, ano yung ginawa ni Ricardo Carnicero? He gave Rizal the freedom to go anywhere requiring, requiring him only to report once a week to his office. Next, number 53. Rizal met a kind Protestant German pastor in Germany who bef befriended him. He stayed at his vicarage and learned German language. This is where he finished his first novel. Where was Nolly Village located in honor of the novel Nolly Mitanghere? So guys, uh, di ba actually sa STEM pa lang, makikita na talaga natin na si Nolly Mitanghere is na, na finish sa Germany, sa Berlin, Germany. Now, Ano yung uh, location ng Nolly Village sa Nolly Mitanghere? Answer is, we have the Wilhelmsfeld. Again, ano yung sagot? Alpha Wilhelmsfeld. Next, number 54. Rizal has a best friend whom he would always confine with through letters. So, meron sila exchange of letters. His best friend is a principal of a secondary school in Litmeritz, Austria. Who is he? So, guys, mali po ang sagot na Maximo Viola. Kasi si Maximo Viola, siya yung uh, naging savior ng Noli Mitanghere. But what we are talking here is yung best friend ni Jose Rizal na close niya at usually ang communication lang nila is through exchange of letters. Answer is yung uh, si Ferdinand Blumentritt. Alpha. Again, the answer is Alpha Ferdinand Blumentritt. Next, number 55. A character in Nolly who became a drug addict and frequently visited Calle Fumadero in Tondo, the place where the Chinese addicts were allowed to smoke opium. Again, ang character sa Nolly Mitanghere na naging drug addict and uh, pabalik-balik siya nag-visit sa Tondo. Sino yan siya? Now, ang correct answer po natin dito is yung father ni Maria Clara or yung hindi totoo na father ni Maria Clara, we have Capitan Chago. Again, the answer is we have Capitan Chago. Si Cabezang Tales, isa ito siyang former Cabeza de Barangay based sa novel ha, na uh, nag-resurface ng fear sa Luzon Bandit na Matanglawin. So, ang father ni Cabezang Tales is si 
uh, old man cello, si tandang cello. Tapos si Placido Penitente, ito yun siyang uh, describe as student sa UST or sa University of Santo Tomas na very miserable ang life. Tapos uh, kon, may temper din siya, si Placido Penitente. Si Don Tiborcio, ang karakter niya sa Noli Mitangere is isa siyang uh, husband ni Doña Victorina. Si Doña Victorina, do, da, de los Reyes de, de Espandanya, siya yung uh, woman who passes herself off as a peninsular. So, parang mataas yung tingin niya sa kanyang sarili. So, si, siya yung wife ni Don Tiborcio or Tiborcio, Spanish husband ni Doña Victorina. So, again, ang correct answer, naging drug addict, pabalik-balik na lang siya sa pag-visit sa tundo is we have Capitan Chago, ang, ang hindi biological father ni Maria Clara. And then, again, ang bio, biological ni, father ni Maria Clara is we have Padre Damaso. Next, 56. The only sister of Rizal who can recite from memory all his poems and married Antonio Lopez, who is she? Now, please do remember, pag sister ni Jose Rizal na nakamemorize sa lahat ng kanyang poems, ito yung sister ni Rizal na naghanap patiently sa kanyang body sa lahat ng cemetery sa Manila. Answer is, we have Narcisa. Again, answer is Bravo Narcisa. Next, 57. Ito yung lumabas sa board exam before, pero ang naging focus ng topic na ito is ang sa BEET. Now, let's study this one. The following characteristics were hereditary influences of Jose Rizal from his Chinese ancestry except one, which one does not belong. Now, guys, si Jose Rizal, mayroon yan siyang namana sa mga Malayan ancestors, sa atin Pinoy, may mga namana siya sa Spanish niya na ancestry, even sa Chinese niya na ancestry. Now, ang question is, ano yung hindi kasali sa namana ni Rizal sa Chinese niya na blood? Kasali ba ang serious nature? Yes. Kasali ba ang frugality? Yes. Kuripot si Jose Rizal. Kaya nga, nung pumunta siya sa abroad, usually ang gumagastos para sa kanya is yung mga babae niya, yung mga uh, naging girlfriend ni Jose Rizal. Love for children, still Chinese. Ang hindi kasali is indomitable courage. Ma'am, bakit hindi kasali ang indomitable courage? Ang indomitable courage, ito yung namana ni Jose Rizal sa Malayan ancestor. Again, indomitable courage, we have Malayan ancestor. Next, number 58. The following were the characteristics Rizal inherited from his father except one. Which one of the following did Rizal inherited from his mother? So lahat dito ng options ay namanan ni Rizal sa kanyang father except one kasi ang isa na except is ang namanan ni Rizal sa kanyang mama. So saan dito ang namanan ni Rizal sa kanyang mama? Part ba ang profound sense of self-respect sa kanyang father? Yes. How about love for work? Yes. Now, careful tayo ha. Pag love for children, Chinese. Pag love for work, father. Saan dito ang hindi kasali? Ang answer is we have scientific ability. Kasi ang namanan, ang scientific ability is namanan ni Jose Rizal sa kanyang mama. So, uh, like uh, love for religion or scientific ability, like lahat ng more on a mental aspect, yun yung namanan niya sa kanyang mother. So answer is, bravo, scientific ability. Next, number 59. Which of the following did Jose Rizal inherited from his Malayan ancestry? So di ba kanina, uh, na-discuss natin uh, na Malayan ancestry yung indomitable courage. Now, saan pa dito ang Malayan ancestry? Guys, mali ang elegance of bearing. Kasi ang elegance of bearing, like, like very social, manamit, is naman na yan ni Rizal sa Spanish na ancestry. Next, sensitivity to insult, still naman na ni Rizal sa Spanish. Gallantry to ladies, naman na din ni Rizal sa Spanish. Ang naman na niya sa atin Pinoy, Malayan ancestry, is we have the innate desire to travel. Again, answer is innate desire to travel. So guys, just a summary lang. Uh, yung hereditary influences ni Jose Rizal, in terms of sa father, ang namana niya ang profound sense of self-respect as well as the habit of independent thinking and ang love for work. Sa mother ni Jose Rizal, namana niya ang scientific ability, ang religious na nature, ang spirit of self-sacrifice and passion for arts and literature. In uh, Sa side na Malayan ancestors, namana ni Rizal ang love for freedom, 
innate desire to travel, and the indomitable courage. Next, Chinese ancestor na mananarizal ang serious na nature, frugality, koripot, patience, and love for children. And ang last, sa Spanish ancestors na manapo ni Jose Rizal ang elegance of bearing, sensitivity to insult, and gallantry to ladies. So please do familiarize yung mga hereditary influences ni Jose Rizal. Next, proceed tayo. Number 60, let's talk about yung mga babae sa life ni Jose Rizal. Okay. One of Rizal's romances and engaged with him but married another man named Henry Keeping. According to some books, she was Jose's great love. Who was this lady? Okay. Ito siya na babae. Kinoconsider ito siya sa halos lahat ng, rib, uh, ng libro uh, na related kay Rizal na siya ang, ang great love ni Jose Rizal. So, ito yung kanyang Cousin. Now, mali po si Segunda Katigbak kasi si Segunda Katigbak, tinatawag natin yan siya as Miss K. Sa Segunda Katigbak, ang first love ni Jose Rizal, like childhood na love. Now, pag great love ni Jose Rizal, ito yung si Leonor Rivera. Again, pag great love ni Jose Rizal, Leonor Rivera. And then si Leonor Rivera, ito yung uh, naging inspiration ni Jose Rizal sa pagsulat ng character ni Maria Clara. So that is Leonor Rivera. Next, 61. A Belgian woman whom Rizal met and one of the contributing factors that led him to continue writing El Filibusterismo. Who is this woman? So, nung time na nagsusulat si Rizal sa El Filibusterismo, ito yung time where in wala na siyang budget and wala na siyang halos makain, very stressed na si Jose Rizal. But this woman, siya yung nag-inspire kay Rizal na dapat i-finish niya ang El Filibusterismo. And uh, Belgian, so hindi dapat si Jose San, di ba? Hindi rin pwede si Josephine Bracken kasi sa Philippines yun na-meet si Bracken. So ang correct answer we have, so Zane, Hakobi or Jacobi. Si Jose Rizal, nakastay siya sa uh, parang apartment or parang lodging area ng family Hakobi. Kaya naging close niya si Suzanne Jacobi. Next, number 62. The woman whom Jose wanted to marry, but because of church requirements, they just simply live together. Jose called her his wife and Dulce Estranjera. Who is she? So guys, remember, sa lahat ng mga uh, naging karelasyon ni Jose Rizal or like mga kanang naging kachar-char ni Jose Rizal, uh, may tinawag siya as wife and tinawag niya as Dulce Estranjera or the sweet stranger. Ito yung babae na na-meet niya sa dapitan. Gusto nilang magpakasal pero because of the church requirements, hindi sila pinayagan kasi bata pa dito, ito yung eh, ang babae na ito. So that uh, lady is we have Josephine Bracken. Nag-meet sila si Bracken is bata pa like si Rizal, napunta siya ng dapitan, dapitan 30 plus and then si Bracken like 18, 19 or 17 siguro ang age ni Bracken. So diba like grabe yung agwat nila when it comes to age. Pero uh, love talaga nila yung isa't isa kaya siya yung tinawag ni Jose Rizal as his wife, si Josephine Bracken. And may mga books where inagsasabi na nagkaroon daw sila ng anak and then pinangalanan nila ito as uh, uh, pangalan ng papa ni Jose Rizal, Francisco. Pero namatay daw yung baby. So, naging Francisco. Pinangalan niya sa kanyang father na si Francisco Mercado Rizal. So, again, remember na lang, pag wife ni Rizal, we have Josephine Bracken. Next, uh, 63. Rizal had a casual relationship with the daughter of a liberal-minded Spanish official who once served in Manila during the Spanish era. Who is this woman? Now, guys, pag uh, nagkaroon lang sila ng casual relationship, answer is we have Consuelo. Consuelo or Tia E. Perez. Again, answer is Bravo Consuelo. Next, number 64. Considered to be Jose's first love, but a fixed marriage was arranged between her and Manuel Luz. Who is she? Guys, sinabi ko na to kanina, di ba? Siya yung first love ni Jose Rizal, like childhood na love. And then tinatawag siya as si Miss K. But then, naka-fixed marriage na pala siya kay Manuel Luz. And that lady is we have Segunda Katigbak or Miss K. Pero again, sino yung great love? Leonor Rivera. Pero sino yung wife? Josephine Bracken. 
Next, 65. The following are Rizal's teacher who gave him introductory lessons in Latin except one who among them does not belong to the group. Now, si Jose Rizal, uh, pagdating yan ng 3, 4, 5 years old, nag-start na siya na mag-study ng Latin. So, ang nangyari uh, doon, guys, is that naging homeschooling. So, yung mga teachers niya pumupunta sa kanila and then pinag-aaral siya ng Latin. Now, sino dito ang hindi niya naging teacher sa Latin? Correct si Leon Monroy? Correct si Padua? Correct si Celestino. Ang hindi kasali sa nagturo kay Rizal ng Latin is we have Dr. Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Kasi si Dr. Justiniano Aquino Cruz, ito yung naging teacher niyo sa Rizal nung pumunta na siya sa boys school before siya pinunta or before siya ipinadala sa Ateneo. And then after Ateneo, UST. So again, Dr. Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Next, 66. Rizal's sister who died at age 3. Again, sister ni Jose Rizal na namatay at age 3. Now guys, ito yung gina-consider as one of Jose Rizal's greatest heartbreak. And that is si Concha or si Concepcion. Again, ang sister ni Rizal na namatay at age 3, Concepcion. Nagkasakit si Concepcion. And then, uh, yung agwat nila ni Jose Rizal is like dikit lang. So naging close sila. Next, 67. The only sister of Rizal who lived up to 1950s. Actually, marami ay dalawa yung naka, nakaabot ng 1950s. Pero siguro ang ginamin lang dito na statement is sino yung pinakamatagal, 1950s plus. We have Maria. Again, answer is Maria. Now guys, we have here the list of uh, the family Rizal, yung mga siblings ni Jose Rizal. So we have here 11. So I remember nyo lang guys is ang 7-11. Mam, bakit 7-11? Si Jose Rizal is pang 7 sa lahat ng 11 na magkakapatid. Again, ano yung i-remember? 7-11. So the moment pupunta ka ng 7-11, i-remember si Jose Rizal. Pang ilan si Rizal? 7. Ilan lahat magkakapatid? 11. Ano yun siya? 7-11. And also guys, remember na dalawa lang sila lalaki. Si Pasyano ang isa. And that's her. Uh, that's his older brother and closest din niya si Pasyano. So, ang i-remember nyo, actually may kanta tayo dito sa mga sisters ni Jose Rizal, sisters and brother ni Jose Rizal para hindi tayo mawala or ma-remember natin siya. So, ang kanta dito is just like this. Sa turni na Pasyano Narsi sa Olympia, Lucia, Maria, Jose Rizal, Concepcion, Josefa, Trinidad, Soledad. So, yan yung kanta natin sa sisters ni Jose Rizal. So, review nyo na, yun na lang para ma-remember. Again, sa Ternina, Pasha no Narcisa, Olympia, Lucia, Maria, Jose Rizal, Concepcion, Josefa, Trinidad, Soledad. So, di ba yung tono natin is banana, banana, fruit salad, yung kanta sa kinder. So, that's piggyback song technique. In-relate natin siya sa isang sikat na music or tono para at least, must more remember. Next, 68. According to Rizal himself, he took the term no limitangere, which means touch me not, from the Bible. From what gospel? No limitangere was taken. So guys, di ba ibig sabihin ng no limitangere, touch me not. So, galing po yan siya sa St. John 2017. Chapter 20, verse 17. Ito yung time wherein gusto na hawakan ni Mary Magdalene si Jesus pero sabi ni Je Jesus na wag muna because I have not yet ascended to the Father in heaven. So, yun. That's St. John 2017. Next, 69. Four days after the founding of La Liga Filipina, Rizal was arrested and imprisoned at Fort Santiago without due process of law, who was then the Governor General of the country who ordered the arrest and banishment of Rizal in the Pitan. Now, before we answer kung sino yung Governor General na nagpatapon kay Rizal sa Dapitan, please i-remember ang Fort Santiago. Ma'am, bakit? dapat natin siya i-remember. Ang Fort Santiago, yan yung naging prison cell ni Jose Rizal. And up until now, nandiyan pa yung Fort Santiago sa may intramuros banda. Tapos, makikita mo doon kung uh, makikita mo actually sa Fort Santiago yung uh, part ng backbone ni Jose Rizal na tinamaan ng bala. The moment na binaril siya. So, guys, again, saan siya kinulong? Sa Fort Santiago. Walang due process. Now, Sino yung nagpatapon kay Rizal sa Dapitan? Answer is, we have D, D, Dapitan, Despohol. Again, the answer is, Bravo, Despohol. Sino yung nagpapatay? P, Pola Vieja. Uh, Nag-advise kay Rizal pumunta ng Cuba? C, Blanco. Next, 
Number 70, the character Noli Mitanghere, who was described by Rizal as a laundry woman before her marriage to the officer of the Guardia Civil. She was known as the muse of the Guardia Civil. She pretended to have forgotten Tagalog already, but her use of Spanish was awful. Who was this woman? So guys, ito yung uh, example ng mga Filipino na masyadong mataas yung tingin nila sa kalang sarili. Like say, for example, nakapunta lang naman nila pagdating dito sa Davao, hindi na nagbibisaya kasi feel niya, hindi na siya marunong gumamit ng bisaya. Just like this woman. Uh, nakapag-asawa siya ng isang Guardia Civil, Espanyol, so hindi na siya uh, nagsispeak ng Filipino language kasi ang focus niya Espanyol. So, inirelate niya yung sarili niya sa mga Espanyol. Sino yan siya? We have Doña Consolacion. Consolacion. Doña Consolacion Alpha. Next, 71. Spanish husband of Doña Victorina, who is limped and submissive to his wife. He also pretends to be a doctor. Who is this character? Di ba nandoon at ito kanina sa isang option na sinabi ko siya yung husband ni Doña Victorina and that is Don Tiborcio. Don Tiborcio. Again, the answer is Don Tiborcio. Next, 72. A character in Olimitang Hire who made an abusive treatment to Sisa and a wife of an alferes. Di ba very sikat yung story ni Sisa, ni Crispin, at ni Basilio? Now, sino yung a character sa Nolimitang Hire na nag-abuse sa family ni Sisa? We have yung naka-forgot daw ng Tagalog kasi nakapag-asawa ng Espanyol. We have Doña Consolacion. Again, the answer is Doña Consolacion. Next, 73. The man whom Crisostomo Ibarra six advises from. The townspeople doesn't like him since he's pessimist, cynic, and always mad. However, Ibarra sees him as a wise man. So ito is si Don Anastasio. Again, the answer is Don Anastasio. Si Padre Sibayla, siya yung nagkagusto kay Maria Clara. Si Kapitan Chago, siya yung... Uh, Hindi biological father ni Maria Clara, si Padre Damaso ang real na father ni Maria Clara. Ang kanyang ina ay si Pia Alba na namatay sa pagpa, uh, during a uh, childbirth. So again, the answer for this is we have Don Anastasio. Next, 74. The younger son of Sisa, who died from the punishment from the soldiers from the false accusation of stealing an amount of money. Again, younger son ni Sisa. Younger son uh, ni Sisa, we have Crispin. Again, younger son, Crispin. Ang older, si Basilio. I remember nyo lang guys, mas nauna ang letter B sa alphabet. Diba? A, B, C, D. Mas nauna ang letter B. So, ibig sabihin, mas matanda ang B. Basilio, younger, C, Crispin. So, again, Basilio, older, younger, Crispin. Next, 75. Known as the father of Maria Clara, but not his biological father. Pabalik-balik ko na itong sinasabi kanina. We have Capitan Chaco. Next, 76. Maria Clara is the epitome of a Filipino woman who is beautiful, intelligent, respectful. She <coughs> excuse me. She has lots of admirers and one of them is a priest. Who is this? Diba? Ay, mali pala yung kanina yung si Padre si Baila. Ang correct answer, pag apare na, na in love kay Maria Clara, we have Padre Salve. Again, Padre Salve yung na in love kay Maria Clara. And again, si Maria Clara, yan yung si Yonor Rivera. Next, 77. Father of Crispin and Basilio who became addicted to cockfighting. Father nila Crispin at Basilio. Sino nga yung older? Basilio. Younger, Crispin. Mother, Sisa. Ang kanilang papa, Pedro. Remember lang, cockfighting. Di ba? Mga manok, Pedro. Next, 78. Who was the real... Who was what was the real surname of Crisostomo Ibarra? Answer is Alpha Ibaramienda. Again, ang spelling ha, Ibaramienda, Alpha. Next, 79. Crisostomo Ibarra is Maria Clara's sweetheart. However, Maria Clara has this would-be fiancé. Who is it? So, para nang naka-fix marriage pala si Maria Clara. Pero ang love ni Maria Clara is si Crisostomo Ibarra. Sino yung kanyang would-be fiancé? Answer is Linares. Again, the answer is Linares. Next, number 80. She's a son who became an aspiring doctor in El Fili. So, di ba, ang El Fili para siyang naging continuation ng Noli Mitanghere. So, of course, di ba, namatay na yung younger. So, sino yung nagpatuloy? Si older Basilio, Alpha. Again, number 80, Alpha Basilio. Next, 81. A poet and Basilio's best friend who was dumped by Paulita Gomez. So, in love siya kay Paulita, pero ayaw ni Paulita sa kanya. We have Isagani. 
Next, 82. The girlfriend of Basilio and the youngest daughter of Cabezang Tales. We have, hindi si Paulita ha, correct answer is Juliana de Dios. Again, ang girlfriend ni Basilio, Juliana de Dios. Next, 83. Ben Zaib is a journalist who thinks he is the only one thinking in the Philippines. What is his real name? Ben Zaib, feel niya siya yung pinakamatalino sa buong kapuluan ng Pilipinas. We have Abraham Ibanez. Again, Abraham Ibanez. Next, 84. He is a quiet old and ordinary fellow who married a rich woman in order to be a member of Manila's high society. Also, he is a famous journalist who was asked by the students about his decision for the Academia de Castellano. Ang answer natin is we have Don Custodio. Again, the answer is Don Custodio. Next, next 85. In El Philly, he reincarnated as a wealthy jeweler bent on starting a revolution. Who is this character? Siya lang. Siya is, we have Simeon. Again, the answer is Simon. Answer is, bravo, Simon. Next, 86. El Philly is the sequel of the Nolimitang Hire. And like the first book, it was written in Spanish. To whom did he dedicate this second novel? So, Actually, di ba sabi ko, yung El Filibusterismo, it's a product of revenge, di ba? Product of uh, hatred, di ba? Angry talaga. Like first, a chapter pa lang may mga sinunog na nabahay. So ito siya is identificate ni Jose Rizal sa Gumburza. To the executed uh, Filipino priest, Gumburza. Next, 87. Rizal is a noted kite maker in his hometown in Laguna. His favorite design of, is of Malay origin. What is the name of the said design? So guys, remember, saan nga yung hometown ni Jose Rizal? Calamba, Laguna. Ano yung favorite design niya? Malay origin. Ano yung tawag? We have Gorion. Again, answer is Gorion. Next, 88. What was the reason of Rizal when he decided to write his two novels in Spanish? So di ba nakasulat yan siya in Espanol? Ano yung reason? A, he wants to show off his talent in Spanish? No. Bravo, he wants to hide it to those who doesn't know Spanish? No. Actually, ang reason ito is that Charlie. He has the idea that it was the intelligentsia that should lead and guide the people in revolution. Answer is Charlie. And then yung El Fili at saka yung No Limitang Jerez, hindi naman for the Filipinos talaga. Gusto niya talaga mabasa ito ng mga Espanyol. So pag sinulat niya ito sa Filipino, what's the purpose? Diba? Hindi rin uh, maririnig ng mga Espanyol na meron na palang hindi uh, gusto ang mga Filipinos sa kanilang pamamalakad sa Philippines. So answer is Charlie. Next, 89. Who authored Rizal Law and signed on June 12, 1956? So Rizal Law, answer is we have Claro M. Recto. Next, number 90. Rizal's birthday is on... Kailangan yung birthday, di ba? Namatay siya December 30, 1896. Kailangan ang birthday, we have June 19, 1861. Ilang taon namatay? 35 years old. Saan pinatay? Luneta Park. Next, last 10, 91. Rizal wrote a poem sa aking mga kababata at an early age. What is his age when he wrote it? Di ba? Ang ibang mga libro, consider nila ito as isa talaga sa pinaka the best na poem ni Rizal kasi una niyang nasulat and bata pa daw si Rizal during this time. Pero remember lang natin kailan or ilang taon si Rizal na isulat niya ang sa aking mga kababata. Answer is 8 years old. Bravo. Next, 92. How old is Rizal when he wrote the poem, A Mother's Birthday? Sinabi ko na to kanina na ang Mother's Birthday, ito yung a gift niya sa kanyang mother na si Chodora Alonso. Answer is, 9 years old, Charlie. Next, 93. Students in Ateneo is divided into two empires to fight for academic supremacy, the Roman, and we also have the Carthaginian Empire. Rizal became the emperor of what empire? Guys, pag emperor ka sa isang empire, ibig sabihin isa ka sa pinaka matalino na estudyante during that time. And then knowing na si Jose Rizal ay isang Pinoy, so di ba dapat uh, Espanyol ang maghari or ang maging emperor pero ito Pinoy si Rizal but in what empire? Answer is Carthaginian Empire. Again, Carthaginian Empire. Next, 94. A poem Jose wrote while he was in Ateneo which suggested that education is an integral part of national character. What is this poem? So ito yung poem wherein uh, ibinibigay ni Rizal, isinulat niya kung ano talaga yung importance ng education sa ating uh, character, national character. Answer is Charlie, through education, our motherland receives light. Again, the answer is, through education, our motherland receives light. Next, 95. First, sad poem, Jose wrote. What is this poem? Answer is, A la Virgen Maria, to the Virgin Mary. 
Next, 96. In the El Fili, his character is one of the great lawyers of mid-Hispanic Manila. Who is he? Lawyer, lawyer. We have attorney Pasta. Again, lawyer, attorney Pasta. Next, 97. A Chinese businessman who dreamt of being a consul of a consulate of China in the Philippines. He hid Sim Simon's weapons inside his house. Answer is, we have Quiroga. Again, answer, Quiroga. Next, 98. A student of the University of Santo Tomas who is always miserable. Sinabi ko na to kanina, di ba? Miserable na estudyante. We have Placido Pinitente. Next, 99. In 1872, the matridog of Gamburza truly inspired Rizal to fight the evils of Spanish tyranny and redeem his oppressed people. The governor general who ordered the execution of Gumburza was, ano yung clue? Nagpapatay si Gumburza. We have Marisi Pula Vieja, siya yung nagpapatay kay Rizal. Ramon Blanco, mali rin, siya yung nag-advise kay Rizal pumunta ng Cuba. Si uh, Governor General Fernando Primo de Rivera, siya yung nakasign sa kasunduan nila together with Emilio Aguinaldo. Yung kasunduan sa Biak na Bato or Pact of Biak na Bato. So the correct answer is we have Governor General Rafael D. Escuerdo. Again, Rafael Escuerdo. And 100, who is the savior of El Filibusterismo. Guys, di ba pag savior ng no limitang hira, it is Maximo Viola. Pero pag savior ng El Filibusterismo, we have Valentin Ventura. Again, Valentin Ventura. And before we end yung discussion natin sa Rizal, actually marami pang questions uh, regarding kayo sa Rizal. And yung mga latest na questions na lumabas as a second batch is ipiplay natin sa uh, last week pa ng ating reviews. Ito siya is uh, really a review lang kayo sa Rizal. Now, pag may question, ano yung last words niyo sa Rizal? We have consumatum S. Anong ibig sabihin? It is finished. It is done. Okay, guys. So, let's have a run-through of the questions with regards to the life of Jose Rizal. So, let's start with number one. Sometime in 1807, Rizal's close friend Ferdinand Dumitrit asked him to define the term for he could not find the term for UPenn Spanish or Spanish-American sources. Rizal replied that in Filipino, the word meant a dangerous patriot who someday will be hanged. What was the word Rizal requested? Uh, what was the word requested Rizal to define? Answer is, we have Alpha Filibuster. Again, the answer is Alpha Filibuster. Next, number two. Jose Rizal and other mestizos and pensionados in Madrid formed the propagandist movement to appeal to reformers in the Spanish administration in the Philippines through periodicals and pamphlets. Which of the following was not a product of the propagandist movement? Answer, Kalayaan. Again, the answer is Kalayaan. Next, number three. He was the paternal grandfather of Jose Rizal. Answer, Juan Mercado. Again, the answer is Juan Mercado. Next, four. Jose Rizal's baptismal certificate was signed not by the priests who baptized baptized him but his successor. Sino yun siya? Father Leoncio Lopez. Again, the answer is Father Leoncio Lopez. Next five. Who baptized Rizal on June 22, 1861? Answer, Father Rufino Colliantes. Again, the answer is Father Rufino Colliantes. Next six. Who among the following stood as Rizal's godfather during his baptismal? Again, ang kanyang ninong. Answer, Father Pedro Casanias. Again, the answer is Father Pedro Casanias. Next seven. Rizal, a shortened form of Spanish word second crop seems suited to family of farmers and originated from the word richal which then means rice field. Again, the answer is rice field. But again, pwede rin siya green field. Next, eight. The list of approved and the list of produced and approved family names can be referred from this publication. What is this publication? Answer, Catalogo Alfabetico de Apelidos. Again, Catalogo Alfabetico de Apelidos. Next, the royal decree of 1849 was ordered by Governor General Narciso Claveria. Again, the answer is Governor General Narciso Claveria, Spanish surnames. Next, 10. Jose Rizal's mother, Teodora Alonso, studied in the school. Saan ito siya? Colegio de Santa Rosa. Again, the answer is Colegio de Santa Rosa. Next, 11. Domingo Lamco, Jose Rizal's paternal ancestor, was a native of this place. What place is this? Chincho District in China. Again, the answer is Chincho District. Next, number 12. Ateneo de Municipal Manila was located in Intramuros, which means answer within the walls. Again, the answer is within the walls. Next, 13. Prior to Ateneo, Rizal took and passed the examination at Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Again, the answer is Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Next, 14. At first, Rizal was denied entry in Ateneo, but he was finally accepted through the intercession of 
Manuel Ceres Burgos. Again, Manuel Ceres Burgos. Next, 15. While attending Ateneo, Rizal developed into a first-rate student who among the following noticed his proficiency in the Spanish language. Answer, Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez. Again, the answer is Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez. Next, 16. Who was the registrar in Ateneo who initially denied Rizal's admission to the university? Again, answer, Father Magen Ferrando. Again, the answer is Father Magen Ferrando. Next, 17. What is the main reason for the education of Rizal in UST? Answer, the cataracts of his mother. Again, the answer is the cataracts of his mother. Next, 18. What are the two courses Rizal enrolled simultaneously in UST? Answer, philosophy and medicine, Delta. Again, the answer is philosophy and medicine. Next, during Rizal's first year in UST, Rizal also finished a course in surveying in another school. What is this school? Answer, Ateneo. Again, the answer is Ateneo. Next, 20. Allegedly, Rizal was underage when he took the licensure examination for surveying. Thus, his license was withheld. It was issued to him on this date instead. Answer, we have November 25, 1881. Again, the answer is November 25, 1881. Next, 21. In 1879, Rizal won a silver pen for his entry in the poetry, in the poetry contest organized by Manila Lyceum of Art and Literature. What is the title of the poem? Answer, to the Filipino youth. Again, the answer is to the Filipino youth. Next, 22. Rizal decided to take medicine also for this reason. What is this? Answer, Rizal won wanted to diffuse his growing political interest. Again, Rizal wanted to diffuse his growing political interest. Next, 23. Rizal wrote the satirical play which was presented by Ateneo students on December 8, 1880. What is the title of this play? Answer, Beside the Passing. Again, Beside the Passing. Next, 24. One of the controversial works of Rizal was this allegory that allegedly won him a prize in a literary competition, but the prize was denied to him for the reason that the writer was an Indian. What is the title of this work? Answer, Council of the Gods. Again, Council of the Gods. Next, 25. Rizal secretly left the Philippines and had his first voyage to the world. When was this? And a young date? May 3, 1882. Again, May 3, 1882. Next, 26. What is the name of the ship Rizal boarded during his first voyage? SSS. SS Salvadora. Again, SS Salvadora. Next, 27. Rizal went to Madrid and enrolled medicine. What is the name of this school? Answer, Universidad Central de Madrid. Again, the answer is Universidad Central de Madrid. Next, 28. While Rizal was enrolled in Madrid for his medicine course, he also studied painting and sculpture. What is the name of the school? Answer, Academy of San Carlos. Again, Academy of San Carlos. Next, 29. Where did Rizal enroll in his drawing classes? Answer, Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando. Again, Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando. Next, 30. Who is the professor of Rizal in drawing? Answer, Mr. Hayes. Again, Mr. Hayes. Next, 31. Considered to be the first foreign book that Jose Rizal read. What is the title of this book? Count of Monte Cristo. Again, Count of Monte Cristo. Next, 32. Below are four statements about the Philippines during Rizal's time. Which statement is false? Answer, the Philippines was represented in Spanish court. Again, the Philippines was represented in Spanish court. Next, 33. As soon as Noli was published, Rizal was ready to go home and perform surgery on the eyes of his mother. He took the shape from Mercedes and started his journey back to the Philippines on July 5, 1887. Again, the answer is July 5, 1887. Next, 34. Who was this Austrian historian whom Rizal uh, developed deep friendship with during his stay in Germany? Answer, Ferdinand Blumentritt. Again, the answer is Ferdinand Blumentritt. Next, 35. While Rizal was in Paris, he took advanced course in ophthalmology under the tutelage of the known ophthalmologist. Who is this? Answer, we have Louis de Wecker. Again, Louis de Wecker. Next, 36. Rizal continued his study in ophthalmology in Germany under the mentorship of eminent ophthalmologist named Otto Becker. Again, Otto Becker. Next, when did Rizal write his poem to the flowers of Heidelberg? Answer, C, April 22, 1886. Again, ano yung sagot? April 22, 1886. Next, 38. Rizal wrote a lengthy essay about his prophecies on the condition of the Philippines entitled, Answer, The Philippines a Century Hence. Again, The Philippines a Century Hence. Next, 
39, a poem Jose wrote when his mother asked him to write a poetry, a poem that is Jose's product of all the melancholy of his aching soul. What is the title of this poem? Answer, they ask me for verses. Again, they ask me for verses. Next, ano yung ibig sabihin ng laong laan? Answer, always ready. Always ready, laong laan. Again, laong laan, always ready. Next, 41, who ordered Jose Rizal to be shot in Bagumbayan on the morning of December 30, 1896? Answer, Governor General Camilo Polavieja. Again, Governor Governor General Camilo Pola Vieja, ilang taon? 35 years old. Next, number 42. Rizal was able to finish his studies and perform excellently in all subjects in Ateneo. He was later coined as the pride of the Jesuits, but he pointed out that if it weren't for his educator, he wouldn't have achieved his goals. Who was this educator? Answer, Father Sanchez. Again, Father Sanchez. Next, 43. Where did El Filibusterismo publish? Answer, Ghent, Belgium. Again, Ghent, Belgium. Next, 44. Why did Rizal fail to publish El Fili in France? Answer, no one was willing to print the manuscript in Paris. Again, no one was willing to print the manuscript in Paris. Next, 45. The lawmaking body that proclaimed Rizal as the Philippine national hero is the Philippine Commission. Charlie, Philippine Commission or the Taft Commission. Next, 46. The Rizal law is Republic Act 1425. Again, Republic Act 1425. Next, 47. Who gladly agreed to finance the printing costs of the Noli Mi Tangere when Rizal was having problems with the expenses? Answer, ang savior ng Noli, Maximo Viola. Again, the answer is Maximo Viola. Next, 48. When Rizal was in trial, who was the defense counsel assigned to him? Ang lawyer, we have Luis Taviel de Andrade. Again, Luis Taviel de Andrade. Next, 49. The Katipunan was a secret society founded by Andres Bonifacio and other patriotic Filipinos on July 7, 1892, aimed at attaining Philippine independence through the use of force. In what district of Manila was the Katipunan founded? Answer, Tondo. Again, Tondo. Next, 50. What, what crime Rizal tried according to the Spanish military court? Answer, Bravo, Rebellion, and Organizing Illegal Societies. Again, answer, Rebellion and Organizing Illegal Societies. Next, 51. After the execution, Rizal Corpse was buried with the greatest secrecy at the Paco Cemetery, who was the one who patiently searched all the cemeteries in Manila to find his body in vain. Answer, his sister Narcisa. Again, his sister Narcisa. Next, 52. On Rizal's exile in the Pitan, he was guarded by a Spanish military commandant, Captain Ricardo Carnicero. How did this military commandant treat the exiled? Answer, Charlie. He gave Rizal the freedom to go anywhere, requiring him to only report once a week in his office. Again, the answer is, he gave Rizal the freedom to go anywhere requiring him only to report once a week to his office. Next, 53, Rizal met a kind Protestant German pastor in Germany who befriended him. He stayed at his vicarage and learned German language. This is where he finished his first novel. Where was Noli Village located in honor of the novel Noli Mitanghere? Answer, Well Hemsfeld. Again, Well Hemsfeld. Next, 54. Rizal has a best friend whom he would always confide with through letters. His best friend is a principal of his secondary school in Litmeritz, Austria. Who is he? Best friend ni Rizal. We have Ferdinand Blumentritt. Again, ang answer, Ferdinand Blumentritt. Next, proceed tayo sa characters. 55. A character in Noli Mitanghere who became a drug addict and frequently visited Calle for Madero in Tondo, the, co the place where the Chinese uh, addicts were allowed to smoke opium. Sino yun siya? Capitan Chago. Again, Capitan Chago. Next, 56. The only sister of Rizal who can recite from memory all his poems and married Antonio Lopez. Who is she? We have Narcisa. Again, answer, Narcisa. Next, 57. The following characteristics were hereditary influences of Jose Rizal from his Chinese ancestry except one. Which one does not belong? Answer, Delta, Indomitable Courage. Again, Delta, Indomitable Courage. Next, 58. The following were the characteristics Rizal inherited from his father except one. Which of the following did Rizal inherit from his mother? Answer, Bravo, Scientific Ability. Again, Bravo, Scientific Ability. Next, proceed tayo, 50. Nine. Which of the following did Jose Rizal inherited from his Malayan ancestry? Answer, Charlie, innate desire to travel. Again, innate desire to travel and just a review of the hereditary influences. Next, 60. One of Rizal's romances and engaged with him, but married another man named Henry Keeping. According to some books, she was Clue, who says great love. Who was this lady? Great love. Answer, Yunor Rivera. Again, Yunor Rivera. 
Next, 61. A Belgian woman whom Rizal met and one of the contributing factors that led him to continue writing El Filibus Turismo. Who is this woman? Answer, we have Suzanne Jacobi. Again, Suzanne Jacobi. Next, 62. The woman whom Jose wanted to marry but because of church requirements, they just simply lived together. Anong tawag sa kanya ni Rizal? Wife and Dulce Estranghera. Sino yan siya? We have Josephine Bracken. Again, Josephine Bracken. Next, 63. Rizal had a casual relationship with a daughter of a liberal-minded Spanish official who once served in Manila during the Spanish era. Who is this woman? Answer, Consuelo Ortilla Perez. Again, Consuelo Ortilla Perez. Next, 64. Considered to be Jose's first love, but a fixed marriage was arranged between, between her and Manuel Luz. Who is she? Sino yun siya? Pag first love, we have Miss K or Segu. Segunda Katigbak. Again, Segunda Katigbak. Next, 65. The following are Rizal's teacher who gave him introductory lessons in Latin, except one who among them does not belong to the group. Answer, Alpha, Dr. Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Again, Dr. Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Next, 66. Rizal's sister who died at age three, Concepcion. Again, Concepcion. Next, the only sister of Rizal who lived up to 1950s, Maria. Again, Maria. And next, yung kanta sa sisters and brother ni Rizal. Again, ano yun siya? Saturnina, Pasha no Narcisa, Olympia. Lucia, Maria, Jose Rizal, Concepcion, Josefa, Trinidad, Soledad. Okay, next, 68. According to Rizal himself, he took the term Noli Mitangere, which means touch me not from the Bible. From what gospel Noli Mitangere was taken? We have John 17, uh, 2017. Again, St. John 2017. Next, we have 69. Four days after the founding of La Liga Filipina, Rizal was arrested and imprisoned at Fort Santiago without, without due process of law, who was then the governor general of the country who ordered the arrest and banishment of Rizal in Dapitan. D, Dapitan. We have D, Despohol. Again, bravo, Yolojo, Despohol. Next, 70. The character Noli Mitangere was described by Rizal as a laundry woman before her marriage to the officer of the Guardia Civil. She was known as the muse of the Guardia Civil. She pretended to have forgotten Tagalog already, but her use of Spanish was awful. Who was this woman? Answer, Doña Consolacion. Again, Answer, Doña Consolacion. Next, 71. Spanish husband of Doña Victorina, who was is who was limped and submissive to his wife. He also pretends to be a doctor. Who is this character? Answer, Don Tiborcio. Again, Don Tiborcio. Next, 72. A character in Oli Mitangere who made an abusive treatment to Sisa and a wife of an alferes. Answer, Doña Consolacion. Again, Doña Consolacion. Next, 73. The man whom Chrysostomo Ibarra seeks advices from, the townspeople doesn't like him since he's pessimist, cynic, and always mad. However, Ibarra sees him as a wise man. Answer, Don Anastasio. Again, Don Anastasio. Next, 74. The younger son of Sisa who died from the punishment from the soldiers from the false accusation Accusation of stealing an amount of money. Sino yun siya? Younger. C. Crispin. Alpha. Next, 75. Known as the father of Maria Clara, but not his biological father, Capitan Chago. Again, Capitan Chago. Next, 76. Maria Clara is the epitome of a Filipino woman that is beautiful, who is beautiful, intelligent, respectful. She has lots of admirers and one of them is a priest. Who is this? Answer, we have Padre Salvi. Again, Padre Salvi. Next, 77. Father of Crispin and Basilio who became addicted to, to cockfighting. Manok. Answer. Pedro. Again, C. Si Pedro. Next, 78. What was the real uh, surname of Crisostomo Ibarra? Answer. Alpha E. Ibarra Mienda. Again, Ibarra Mienda. Next, 79. Crisostomo Ibarra is Maria Clara's sweetheart. However, Maria Clara has this would-be fiancé who is Charlie Linares. Again, Charlie Linares. Next, 80. Sisa's son who became an aspiring doctor in El Fili. Alpha Basilio. Again, Alpha Basilio. Next, 81. A poet. And Basil's best friend, who was dumped by Paulita Gomez, answered Charlie Isagani. Again, Charlie Isagani. Next, 82, the girlfriend of Basilio and the youngest daughter of Cabezang Tales, Answer, bravo, Juliana de Dios. Again, bravo, Juliana de Dios. Next, 83, Ben Zaib is a journalist who thinks he is the only one thinking in the Philippines. What is his real name? Answer, Abraham Ibanez, Charlie. Again, Abraham Ibanez. Next, 84, he is quite an ordinary fellow who married a rich woman in order to be a member of Manila's high society. Also, he is a famous journalist who was asked by the students about his decision for the Academia de Castellano. Answer is Delta Don Tiborcio. Again, Delta, sorry, Delta Don Custodio. Again, Delta Don Custodio. 
Next, 85. In El Fili, he reincarnated as a wealthy jeweler bent on starting a revolution. Who is this character? Simon. Again, bravo, Simon. Next, 86. El Fili is the sequel of the Noli Me Tangere. And like the first book, it was written in Spanish. To whom did he dedicate the second novel? Answer, Charlie, to the executed Filipino priest, Gumburza. Again, the answer is, to the executed Filipino priest, Gumburza. Next, 87. Rizal is a noted kilt maker in his own hometown in Laguna. His favorite design is of Malay origin. What is the name of the said design? Answer, Gurion. Again, Alpha Gurion. Next, 88. What was the reason of Rizal when he decided to write his two novels in Spanish? Answer, he has the idea that it was the intelligentsia that should lead and guide the people in revolution. Again, the answer is, he has the idea that it was the intelligentsia that should lead and guide the people in revolution. Next, 89. Who authored Rizal Law and signed on June 12, 1956? Answer, Claro M. Recto. Again, Claro M. Recto. Next, 90. Rizal's birthday is on... June 19, 1861. Again, June 19, 1861. Next, 91. Rizal wrote a poem sa aking mga kababata at an early age. What is his age when he wrote it? Answer, 8. Again, 8. Next, 92. How old is Rizal when he wrote up the poem, A Mother's Birthday? Answer, Charlie 9. Again, Charlie 9. Next, 93. Students in Ateneo is divided into two empires to fight for academic supremacy, the Roman and Carthaginian. Rizal became the emperor of what empire again? We have... Bravo Carthaginian. Again, Bravo Carthaginian. Next, 94. A poem Jose wrote while he was in Ateneo, which suggested that education is an integral part of natural character. What is this poem? Answer, Charlie. Through education, our motherland receives light. Again, through education, our motherland receives light. Next, 95. First sad poem Jose wrote. What is this poem? Answer, Charlie. A la Vergen Maria. Again, a la Vergen Maria. Next, 96. In the El Fili. His character is one of the great lawyers of mid-Hispanic Manila. Who is he? Answer, Attorney Pasta. Again, Attorney Pasta. Next, 97. A Chinese businessman who dreamt of being a consul of a consulate of China in the Philippines. He hid Simon's weapons inside his house. Answer, Quiroga. Again, Quiroga. Next, 98. A student of the University of Santo Tomas who is always mis miserable. Answer, Bravo, Placido Pinitente. Again, Placido Pinitente. Next, 99. In 1872, the matridom of Gumburza truly inspired Rizal to fight the evils of Spanish tyranny and redeem his oppressed people. The governor general who ordered the execution of Gumburza was, we have, Rafael Escuerdo. Again, governor general Rafael D. Escuerdo. Next, 100. Who is the savior of El Filibusterismo? We have, Valentin Ventura. Again, Valentin Ventura. Ano yung last words ni Rizal? Answer, consumatum S. Again, consumatum S. 